Hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to be working on making our own CB radio antenna cables. So here I have some insulation stripped back. We're going to make two cables, a three foot and a six foot cable. And here I have some new PL259 connectors. Um, you can order these pretty cheap on Amazon. Same with the cable. In today's lineup of tools, we're going to need a sheathing stripper. Um, cable cable uh, stripper um, and over here we have my soldering iron with a wet sponge some solder and we're gonna clean it up with some heat shrink so let's get to work guys so the first thing we're gonna do is take our three foot cable and we're gonna match up the same way we strip this. So with my sheathing stripper, there's an adjustment. And we'll just go ahead and set it on. There's a little knife blade. We'll back out some of the tension. So we don't really wanna cut much, just that cable. And then we'll go ahead and turn it around and then I'll split the end. Oh, there it goes. And we just peeled it back. And then you can take a pick and pick out the braids. But basically, essentially, this is what we want. And then you can just twist it into a tie. And then I'll just wrap this around because we're gonna use this as our ground. And I'm gonna solder it to this part. So the two, and the, for the connector, the two, the PL259, it threads in like so. So this barrel will unthread, and then we'll go ahead and stick this through for measurement. And we want it to end up to be about right there. And then I'll lay some solder in this fillet. And then we only need to take off about, I'd say a quarter inch on the end of this to expose the positive side of the cable. And I'll just go ahead and adjust my tension on the stripper. Mark where I'm going to cut. And there we have it, freshly stripped out. So one connector is ready. We'll go ahead and solder this, remove the connector, apply my heat shrink, like so. And then apply my thread on connector, like so. Okay, so I got my cable in a small vise that's stuck to a magnet on my workbench. We're gonna go ahead and solder this up. I'm going to tend my soldering iron. Move this up to the edge. And without melting the center sheathing, Just like so. Okay, so now this solder joint has cooled down. We're gonna go ahead and thread the 259, PL259 back over the cable, making sure that the connector is straight and snug. And here we're going to add some solder and fill up this joint. Just like that. And with some dikes, I'll just go ahead and trim off the edge. And 
and there you have it a soldered connector and to check for shorts I usually like to take a multimeter and check the ground to the center pin just to make sure that it's not short out or the positive and the negative is not touching and we're good so that's how you're going to add your connectors to your make your own CB antenna cable add your heat shrink and with a heat gun go ahead and heat up the heat shrink and there you have it guys how to make your very own cable for your CB or UHF radios.